Welcome to part two of my Baron design series. In this video, I'll show you my rather unexpected prototype 1.5. I'll explain why I needed to iterate a little more before doing my testing, as I told you in the last video. As usual, please enjoy the video. As I mentioned, I decided to put off testing a little bit. I wanted to make some key changes before I got into that to ensure that the testing was actually valuable. One major goal of this Baron is to have several different textures that can be swapped out of the main Baron frame. So for this prototype 1.5, the same frame remains, but here you can see that I've created a couple new plastic parts. Two of them are Baron pads, as I've described, the bottom layer of the Baron that actually touches the paper and I also created a couple handles. I refined the design for the handle a little bit and decided to order some better looking parts while I was already purchasing something. One major reason that I ordered these parts was because I realized that I couldn't get high enough fidelity barren pads in order to really create accurate test results. In the long run, I can't rely on my own 3D printer to create these parts because they're very precise and the texture is really important. Here you can see the side by side and I want to explain a little bit on how I've changed the design since part one. So on the right, that white baron is the original design. It was designed with a slight curve shape, maybe like a dome, but it had relief cuts that allowed it to flex. The new design was actually partly inspired by some comments from part one. It's a flat piece of plastic, but it has lots of relief cuts to allow it to flex very easily. The idea of this is to give each part of the texture the ability to kind of move up and down, rather than all moving as one unit. This gives it the ability to kind of flatten out perfectly when pressure is applied. That's the goal, but of course, if there needs to be more flex, that could still be put into the design. There are a few other aspects to the design that I included, but I'll wait till some future videos to talk about this. I know there will be lots of iteration around this part. I do want to mention that all of these new prototypes are made of nylon through a process called MJF. It's a relatively new 3D printing process that can create more durable parts with higher precision. It's pretty ideal for my needs to prototype right now. I guess I'm talking a bit too much in this video, but you can see I just added the brass inserts to the barren pads, like I did in part one. Next, I can move on to the assembly. But to start, I made sure to cut a few extra felt and rubber pads, just so that I had plenty of surplus when I went on to make some new barrens. Before putting together prototype 1.5, I broke down the older prototypes just so that I could harvest their materials mainly the metal plate, which I didn't order more of for this prototype. Luckily, a lot of the parts and hardware can be reused prototype to prototype, and I'll only be making changes to some of the more significant components, like the barren pad as I mentioned earlier. I have to say that I like the addition of the felt pad to this design, not only because of the function, but I do like the way that it adds a little pop of color to the design. It gives some fun opportunities for the future, I think, and also potential custom ability. So this time I can put together two full prototypes, one with the rougher barren pad and the other with a more fine barren pad. I'm really excited to have each of these barrens when I do the testing now because I can get an idea of where to start for the texture. For example, I think in the long term I want to have three different textures, a very fine, a medium, and a very coarse barren. So by doing these two examples, I'm going to be able to kind of create a base mark for maybe where I think the medium level should be and then go from there. Um, my idea for these textures is to kind of build them based around the number of bump features on the bottom. So that's how I characterize these two pads. I'm not sure if this will be a valid approach or not, so it'll be good to test, but 
It's basically just changing the number of pressure points. As I mentioned earlier, it's fun to see the color of those felt pads, and you can now see them on the bottom through those relief cuts that I made. Overall, I think the Baron is coming together very nicely. I made some more minor changes to the design, like with the handle, and it even looks a lot better from just prototype one. More importantly, I think I have two great Barons to test next time I make some prints. I'm excited to report to you the results of that test in the next video. Thank you so much for watching part two, and I really hope you enjoyed the video. Just like last time, if you have any feedback on my design or anything else, please let me know what you think in the comments. It really helps me out. Have a good rest of your day.